Hi guys, so over the last number of days, I've been asking the question, who donated money to Boris Johnson's flat refurbishment and why? Now, this question is not very interesting for the likes of Secretary of State Therese Coffey or Tory MP Charles Walker, but it is actually an interesting question for me and I think it deserves a response. Well, finally, we, we have a response. This is David Brownlow. He is the one who gave the money to Boris Johnson, it seems. Actually, not David Brownlaw, Baron Brownlaw. So it says here, according to Wikipedia, it was revealed during the last week of April 2021 that Lord Brownlaw donated a sum of £58,000 towards the refurbishment of a flat at number 10, number 11 Downing Street. The refurbishment was carried out in October 2020 by the Prime Minister, Honourable Boris Johnson. Boris Johnstone is written is an error here, but we know who we're talking about. It goes on to say at the bottom, he was nominated for a life peerage in Theresa May's honours, uh, resignation honours back in 2019. So he's a member of the House of Lords. Now it's also important to remember that he donated more than £100,000 to the Conservative Party over the last number of years. And he also was the a vice chair of the Conservative Party from 2017 to 2020. Now he runs a company or he heads up a company called um, Huntswood CTC Limited, which is located at Abbey Gardens, Abbey Street, Reading. Uh, and you can see, so this is the website for the company. They provide consulting services and outsourcing services, things like this. Okay, so let's look at some of the contracts this business won over the last number of years. So you can see here a complaints handling review. This contract was handed out uh, to the company worth £32,600, the Industry Accounting Auditing Financial Services, okay. And we can see here at the bottom, the contract was won by Huntswood CTC Limited for £32,600. Then we also have uh, another contract here, which is a skills persons reporting framework financial services once again. This is a contract worth between £60,000 sorry, 60 million and 120 million pounds. I, I forgot a, f a few zeros there. <laughs> 60 million and 120 million pounds. And this uh, contract was issued back in April 2017 and it ends in March 2021. And let's see who were some of the suppliers of this contract. And if we go down to the letter H, we can see here Huntswood, CTC Limited. Now, the director, if we look at companies, uh, the listing of companies here, we can see Huntswood CTC Limited. Uh, sig people with significant control in the company. There is one here, and it's Lord Davis Ellis Brownlow. Do we see a picture forming here, people? Well, what's even more interesting about all of this is that Mr. Brownlow has connections to David Cameron's wife's company. You can see here, this is Samantha Cameron, David, David Cameron's wife. David Cameron, of course, being former prime minister. Um, Samantha Cameron Studio Limited. And we can see here <laughs> uh, an officer, a former officer, is that's actually still active, an active officer, not a former one. Uh, active officer is... David Ellis, Lord Brownlow. So you can see a picture forming here. You have members of the Conservative Party who have companies. The government put out work to tender, it seems, or in some cases they don't actually provide a tendering process. And these companies win these contracts. Now, I don't know what... Mr. Uh, Brownlow is expecting to get from Boris Johnson because he helped pay for the flat. Maybe this is a thank you for, look at all these contracts you've given me over the last number of years. Um, I want to maintain you know, a, a friendly relationship with the Prime Minister, so I'm going to fix up his flat. You know, £58,000 is nothing when you're, getting, you're winning part of a contract that's worth £120 million. 
This is the problem here, guys. I've said it on numerous occasions. Politicians receive money from business people. Sometimes those business people are also politicians, it seems. But generally, politicians win, receive money from, uh, from business people in order to gain favors, to help them win a contract. We've seen it also when it came to PPE and Matt Hancock. We've seen it in numerous um, other occasions. Business people give politicians money through the party, a donation. They help fix up a flat. They pay for some holiday or something. And then the politician, when it comes to the time to issue a contract, they put this business person or their business at the top of the list. Now, sometimes that business will win the contract. Sometimes they will not. But generally, the businesses invest in the politicians. They will call it an investment. I call it corruption. But at the end of the day, you could be justified in calling it an investment because they are investing in the politician in order to get a refund, to a return on investment. You know, you invest 10 million, uh, sorry, you invest 10,000 pounds in, in your local MP and then you win a contract back worth a million pounds. That's a, a wonderful investment. <laughs> you, you will be, you will find it very difficult. You'll be um, in a difficult situation to find an investment where you put in 10,000 and receive 1 million back in return. But this is how it works. This has become so embedded in society, embedded in politics, that it's normal. People don't actually have a problem with this anymore. And if you do actually highlight this, you're criticized. People will say, stop focusing on this. Look at what Boris Johnson has done when it came to the rollout of the vaccine. He's done a, an amazing job. F focus on that instead. Stop talking about his apartment. Nobody cares about his apartment. Nobody cares about the fact that somebody, a business person, who was a former member of the Conservative Party, a former chair of the Conservative Party, gave money to Boris Johnson to fix up his flat. The money, the quantity is not important. It's what is done in return. People like Charles Walker will say, I don't care about that because it's not the taxpayer paying for it. But the taxpayer is paying for it because if you have a business, and we've seen it when it came to the test and trace. A business that is incompetent, like Circle, who's not capable of carrying out the work, they won that contract probably because of their connections to the Conservative Party, not because of merit. They didn't win it because they were the best. They won it because of the connections, donations perhaps to the Conservative Party. That's how it works. And in that way, the taxpayer pays more because they're paying for extra things that are not actually required or they're actually paying in the long term because these problems have to be fixed. And then you have to bring in companies that are competent and this is an extra cost for the taxpayer. I really don't understand how more people aren't angry about this. More people aren't upset complaining about this. The talk at the moment is stop focusing on Boris Johnson's flat. It, it's a distraction. We should be focusing on what Boris Johnson has achieved. We should be focusing on the rollout of the vaccine. We should be focusing on getting people back into work. This is the, this is the way, this is actually the distraction. Stop focusing on the corruption and start focusing on something else. This is what the politicians want you to do. And you need to call it out. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?